Hey everyone, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick video with you on the uh, gas adjustment settings for the Sega 12 shotgun. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of information out there that I was able to find uh, as far as a real quick tutorial on what to use when and where. So I thought I'd just kind of go over it with you real quick and uh, the differences between the two adjustments that it comes with. Many of you are familiar with the Sega 12 shotgun. This one uh, is made in Russia. It's imported by Century Arms International. In fact, Century Arms International did a conversion on this to uh, a pistol grip and a forward trigger assembly to accommodate the pistol grip. So it may look a little bit different to you than some of the other ones you've seen around, but typically the same exact shotgun. Uh, it does come with two standard settings on this gun stock, and that's uh, going to be found up here towards the front under the front sight. And I'll see if I can get a a tool or a flashlight in here to give you some if you can actually see that or not hopefully uh, but there's a one and a two mark with a pin that holds it in and allows you to rotate it around and uh, the easiest way to do that is to depress the pin and then just physically turn this with your finger to the appropriate setting and again there's only two adjustment settings so it's pretty easy at least on the stock version to tell which one you need and I'll kind of go over that with you right now so if you're setting on a number one the way I look at it is one is big so you got a slug that you're putting through it maybe some heavy buckshot something like that uh, really the one is gonna allow you to allow less gas through the system uh, as it doesn't need as much to cycle the round and if you can imagine if you're shooting a slug out of this it's, it's generating much more pressure than it would as if it was a bird shot uh, mainly because you you have a, a big projectile running down the bore in the barrel and uh, be, behind that you have a, a large amount of buildup if you don't have a, a large object or projectile in your uh, barrel you're losing a lot of that pressure as you're, as you're going down the system here uh, so with a slug uh, they want less gas to go through the gas system uh, to cycle this through. And that's actually a really good reason for that. And the reason for that is, is if you had it on the adjustment 2, which is typically used for lighter shot, uh, bird shot, things of that nature, maybe even lighter uh, buck shot, uh, is it's allowing a lot more gas to come through the system. So one is for big shot, two is for little shot. Uh, big shots allowing less gas to go through, little shots allowing more gas to go through. If you were to run a slug through this on the uh, setting of two where you're allowing a lot more of the gas to come through, your gun is going to take a, a beating on this. Uh, it's going to be cycling a lot harder, it's going to be throwing that bolt back into your rear trunnion a lot harder than necessary. Uh, so you never want to run uh, slugs or heavy buckshot through this gun on a two setting. You always want to make sure it's on a one setting. Now you are able to run birdshot and a lot of lighter loads through this gun on the one setting. That's not going to make much difference. What you'll probably find is that your, your gun is not going to cycle. So it's either not going to come all the way back and uh, eject that round or it's not going to uh, cycle the next round in. Mainly because this bolt isn't coming all the way back and doing a full cycle. So again, the easiest way to remember that is uh, the setting one is for big shot, um, heavy loads, uh, such as slugs and heavy buckshot, and the setting two is for light loads, and that would be birdshot, etc. I uh, hope that helps, guys. Uh, if you have any questions on that, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, until next time, I uh, appreciate you watching, and take it easy.